Name another podcast like this. Who gonna bring it to the table? Boss talk. Who your girlfriend favorite? Boss talk. We gonna do it how you. Check, check, check. This is Unique House. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely amazing official bitch Jamaica. What's going on? No, no, you know, Madea, walk on. I want you to stop what you're doing right now at this moment. Take this time to go ahead and follow us on all social media platforms. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101, and we will pop up. But we're on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see all our visuals, and not just the clips, but the longer clips and the full interviews, you got to go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. There you see all of that information, because y'all always talk about where the rest of it, where the rest of it. That's where you can find the rest of it, the YouTube channel. But then... Check out our membership. That's all our exclusive content is on our membership. How you find our membership is on the each and every video, including this one right here, there's a link that says join our membership. Click that link and go ahead and buy our membership because y'all always see us on the street and be like, how can we support the brand? We love what y'all doing. Dap us, dap us up and everything like that. That's how you can do it. Support the brand. Buy the membership. Thank you in advance. Man, hey, man, listen, we got a guy in here today. He don't need no introduction. Uh, he a troublemaker. Everybody say that about him. You know, I, I some kind of way have a relationship with this dude, man. Some kind of way? Some kind of way. Like, this dude, I don't know. I, it's somebody, he just come when I call, and he always trying to figure out a way to, to add, like, he want to make the show better. He mm -hmm. be like, man, you ought to interview this guy. You ought to interview that guy. This guy right here, man. The one who get you, get you all the calls you want when he leave, man. Mm. When you clip this stuff, be careful. I want to see every clip, okay? <laughs> Listen, man. Rainwater's in the building again, y'all. I'm going to clap for him today. You get a clap. <laughs> Ray, why you, why? Let me ask you this. Why do you feel like, why do you think people be saying you like, you the controversial guy. Like, they feel like you keep the city, uh, bring the city in. The, like, oh, he be keeping everybody into it. What is that about? No, I just speak the real. I say what the I say what the next person. You I mean say. you're real? No, it's be real. Period. So you know, everybody have their own perspective on stuff. Man, I've been around for a long time, so I know the real. So I, what's the difference between your perspective and the real? What's uh, the difference? Uh, sometimes people's perspective is only they only have their own perspective for um, their own achievement and, and their own goals. So put it like this. So sometimes some people real you could switch it up to be the best fit for your life. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you tell me when you say the real, it's just not like anything that's gonna be beneficial to you. No, just like this. Um, sometimes the people that I love, it's like the girls I love, my baby mamas. I'm a narcissist, and my real is best fits for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So sometimes it's like. You know, some people real as people just sit down and ask the bloggers why they not playing their shit, or why they not uh, getting no views no more, or if the bloggers pick size or anything like that. You're only you're only coming from your real perspective to help your career. Well, I do okay. <laughs> I, 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 I and that's what you me, do, huh? And that's what no, you, no, 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 no. That's not what you. Cause so it, you don't help your own career no, when you talking your real. This is in my personal life. That's what you do in your personal, personal life, yeah, but yeah. on your in music life, I already, I'm already successful. I'm good, good from down in my life. So, this the real. So you already where you want to be in your yeah, career, man. I've got. You don't need to go no high. I, I don't need. I don't want to. I got a house with kids. I got. I got toddlers running around there. In the next five years, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have three. I'm gonna have three boys on the same football team, and a little girl is the cheerleader. Man, it's a beautiful life. I got a twelve year, I got twelve year old girl, little girl right now that live with me. Mama let me live with me. My uh, my oldest daughter, and she was a starting point guard at her school. Give a damn about this music shit. Do you go to all her games? Every game. If I'm out of town, I, the only time I missed the game was, was the Grammys weekend. Mm -hmm. I missed the game, and I sit there and Facetime. I sit there and Facetime my mama the whole time, watch the game in my hotel room. Yeah, that's excitement to me. So people be like, man. You ain't. I don't want to break no other artists where I got to do that shit all over again. But all these kids that you have is different baby mamas. I got I got three different baby mamas. How you deal with that? Man, it's getting harder, though. Cause I got to watch. Are you still with all these three different baby mamas? Nah, really, I'm only really oh, with one. One I'm really close to. Only one? Yeah. You're, so you're in a relationship with that one? Yeah, yeah, that's like, yeah. But the other ones, you dad. just I mean, co-parenting? Yeah, yeah. And they don't want you back? 
Nah, hell nah, they know my ways. I can't change my ways, Bumpy Johnson. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just yeah, I can't change my ways. <laughs> Bumpy Johnson, listen, I, listen, and listen, I, and I learned through this situation because I never had to deal with that. Because my first baby mama, she uh, she, she knew Brandy. Mm-hmm. She knew Brandy without everything. You know what I'm saying? And so, but then uh, they're like one of my baby mamas. She. She, Why would you leave that one though? The one we that we were never together though, but that was the best thing though. She wasn't never together, but uh, uh, um, one of my baby mom, she uh had a nerve act like she talking to a, a a drug dealer. You hear me? And then I learned when, when my kids involved, it ain't no limits to it. And so a drug dealer around my kids. I woke up the other morning and called the feds, the the, the federal the federal detectives gave him his name and called CPS on that hoe. Mm mm. What? But you can't prove that she endangered a child. If I ran a drug dealer, what? 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 What, what if he don't? Want Did to you ca- have proof yeah. to get off of them that he's a drug dealer? Yeah. What? What, what if he went to California and switched out a pack and, and, and had some California niggas looking for him? And they see my my baby or my kids at, and shoot the house up. Nah, I don't play them games. Listen, I'm letting y'all niggas know right now. Man, if you a baby mama of mine, you better go get your lawyer, football player, an athlete, uh, uh, I don't, a dentist, uh, 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 a workout nigga, and, and they, they work niggas out or something like that. But you ain't finna have no drug dealers around my kids. Then we gotta drop through. Some of these fathers gotta. Some of these fathers gotta keep these women uh, uh, up to par. And they gotta keep them accountable of what they doing. See, some of these daddies, some of these daddies be so caught up in their own life, they forget what's happening at the kids' houses. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so that's how a person, a person growing up, a person have took advantage of these little girls because their daddy wasn't present. And they know what was going on in their houses. Mm-hmm. And that's not gonna be me. Let me ask you this, man. And this kind of got something to do with what you're saying now. When you co-parenting and yeah. you're going through stuff, man. Right now, P Diddy, uh, they got him, but his. Uh, you know, uh, he been hanging out with 50 Cent's old lady, so it's mm-hmm. a lot going on where 50 is now saying she's an unfit mama because she, you know, got caught in some sex stuff with P. Diddy. Yeah, that's, that's You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, he's upset with Diddy about that and her, and he wants custody of his son. Do you think he should get custody? Yeah. Man, I'm that girl up. I, I, but that ain't no drug dealer. Man, that's at their party and, and doing, being around drugs and all kind of shit. Yes. No, man, we got, you got to break the, bro, you see the generation of these new kids? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The generation we came up, they was doing the Tussie roll, and it was good. You know what I'm saying? You can watch you you can watch Soul Train. You know what I'm saying? On Saturday night, watch Apollo Saturday. But what's going on right now? No, you got to protect these kids at all costs. Cause that's why these young boys running around here for 13, 14 year old with switches and and doing this, doing that. Nah, man, I'm gonna stand for something. So some people get mad at some people get mad at me for what I got going on. How I stand? I'm all around stand for everything. My wow. mind clear now. I want to. I, I really want to. You know. I, I really want to dive into that because you know. You. You know. I think I get a lot of flag from you coming on my show, man. Uh-huh. Because you know. I went. I don't know if you've seen it, but my show Breakfast Club talked about Boss Talk One Hundred One. Did you see that? Uh-huh. And then did you see that Fifty Cent posted Boss Talk One Hundred One? And 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 I don't really know who all be getting this kind of traffic. I don't know what other bloggers. I don't know what other interviewers get. But do you realize, and I told Sean Cotton the same thing, nobody in Dallas posted my stuff. Yeah, but Dallas. Miami, academics, they, the shade room, they won't post, everybody. They won't post, to post you. Dallas is blog city. It's, 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 it's blog land. Like three say gang land is blog land. We got, t- we got eight different blogs, bloggers that you could make yourself a worldwide icon, a household name. Why wasn't they supposed to post my stuff? Why, would, going Dallas, viral? why would Dallas post your shit? You need everybody else to post it. We know about they know about your shit in Dallas. You niggas need to stop thinking so fucking small. You see, you talk, you got fifty cents. You, you got fifty cents. Everybody posting you talking about why but Dallas. I, I care about what the city thinks. They supposed to embrace no, most of. No, your shit is really bigger than the city because now you be expanding yourself where you go out and do interviews, something like this. So sometimes the city forget about it because sometimes the city like the drama, messy shit, and so sometimes you you outgrew the drama and the messy shit. You understand what I'm saying? So so y'all bloggers, y'all bloggers, even real life street stars, they out. I grew it because they, they did Mark Cuban and I was on the big they did, dude. I see and you that. Talk, and now you up here talking about why Dallas Globe ain't post you. <laughs> Nigga, you was I did not say Dallas Globe, <laughs> so you full of shit. Well, if he would have posted, you would have said that. That was my boy. Yeah, I, look, I, yeah, I, I, ain't, I ain't talked to him. I'm going to call him yeah, and ask him now that you said yeah, that. If he would have posted, if Terry would have posted it, he, you would have said, Yeah, Terry posted my shit. The only person posted my it. shit. That's my yeah, boy. you mad because BZ TV, Key Talk, I don't know them. All them negative Sean. Why you didn't post a nigga negative Sean? I, didn't, I, don't, I never known them. Yeah, so at the end of the 
wasn't negative. Exactly. So, but so, so they wasn't negative, so they're not going to post it. The city is not going to post it unless you're negative. Damn. Are you serious? Man, I put that on my own everything. You, you can't. You know, I'm going to tell you something else, man. Thank you. People don't realize it, man. But you you, you, you helped me to get a little Snoop Mom in the shade room and everybody again. They start going. Mm -hmm. It went everywhere. This stuff went everywhere. No, your problem. Academics, he killed this, that old this man. Your problem is you too cheap. <laughs> You hear this nigga, man? You cheap. Why am I cheap? You cheap, because I told you you would have helped me after the, I did the show with Lil B and Dallas and Dallas and Lee when we brought Fredo Bangs out here. And I said, I said, I, I got Teal. And I said, I got Fredo Bangs. You, you wasn't doing it unless you, you know why? Free. Why? Because I don't want fake relationships, right? But did it right? I don't want no nigga around me that I got to pay him to sit in that seat if he really don't want to sit in that seat. No, you pay him to get what's in his head. But so you, this is a business, nigga. I don't know. I got to get better with that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because I really, I turn down a lot of people because I don't want the, I want organic people sitting in that seat. Yeah, I understand that. So, so like, if I don't have a real relationship with you, I'm old, rain. I don't be wanting them niggas just sitting in front of me. Man, you, you, you older, you older than 80, 80, 80. <laughs> Thugs you know what I'm talking about? I don't want them guess, niggas. You don't want you don't want to waste your time, do you? I, yeah, yeah. I'm not like the niggas uh with the uh everybody can't get in. Everybody can, <laughs> if I had a platform, everybody can get in. Shout out to Prez, man. Yeah, everybody everybody can get in. Yeah, until yeah. you learn about the algorithms and all of that, then you're gonna be like, nah, everybody can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> everybody can't get in. No, but I think, like I said, I just know that you bring a lot more to the table for a lot of different people than what they are are willing to admit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can't say that dealing with you from my truth. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I appreciate you, but let's get to it, man. Like, you, if you was able to be in that meeting, I seen that Sean Cotton interview uh -huh. with all the bloggers and Yellow. If you was in that interview, what would you have said? What would you have said to to talk about, you know, what was going on with what happened with Dallas and all the stuff that transpired? I, would, I wouldn't even talk about what was going on. I've been sitting at you. I've been, if I was in that meeting, the first thing I would have said is, he coming in May. And they'd be like, what? And he'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying, though, why y'all not playing my shit? And I'd just keep on saying, yeah, we need to think about the future. He coming in May. <laughs> He coming. This whole meeting is to to derail y'all from Mo three dropping on May thirty first. You know what I'm saying? That, that, so, so this whole meeting is to derail y'all from what's really finna go on. You know what I'm saying? So no, we got to stay focused here. And every time they would have been over there talking, hit the whole yeah. But we just saying though, did you get some plat? Did you get some plat? I got plats for everybody May thirty first because it's going platinum. He's coming May thirty first. <laughs> but we've heard you said many times before that you gonna drop his album. You gonna come, you gonna drop it, I, and you ain't never done it. it. Oh, it's finished. It's so finished. how you? It's, it's finished. It's been three years. I, I've been doing this. I've been doing that for three years. So it's done. You got everybody to everybody sign off sign on everything, off. Yeah, and it's, it's done. Did Boosie sign done. off? Yeah, no. <laughs> so you took that out. Yeah, I, I took it out. What other ones you took out? That's it. That's that's it. Uh, I still got we got a deluxe. So I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop. Then then I'm 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 gonna drop. Then I'm hoping to go number one on May 31st. And then at the, I think I can get Boosie on board. Wow, you, you doing it? Dropping at midnight like everybody else be dropping at midnight? Nah, three o'clock. Everything threes. Threes. Okay. Everything. Threes. Do you? Okay. Is who all on the album? Can you share a little? Give us something. No cap. He on there. Finesse two time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Tory Lanez. Uh, uh, oh, uh, Rallo, Bam, Goon, yeah, um, uh, about four. Wow, that's how many one. songs? Sixteen. That's okay. good. Sixteen songs is real good. And then, and then we go drop another album at the end of the year. You gonna do another one? Uh, -huh. which one harder? This the hardest one. This still gonna be the hardest one. That song you let me listen to on that thing. Yeah, that's on there. Oh, oh, Ty Harris. I'm, I'm sorry, Ty Harris. Ty Harris, is, Ty Harris is a sensitive motherfucker. He'll be mad at me if I left his name off. Ty you Harris. put Ty on there? Ty Harris, Ty, Ty, Harris got a, Ty Harris got the baddest song. You think so? He is that the, your favorite song on there? Yeah. What's it called? Uh, Came Up. Yeah, Ty Came Harris, Up. Ty Harris got the, best, the best, song, uh, best song on there. Mm -hmm. I, I want to, I, 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 like I said, I know you said that's what you would say, though, but, you know, um, Hit Mr. Hit that had a lot to say in that meeting. He was he was probably one of the most vocal people in that meeting. You know what? What did you did you think it did good for the city? Mm -hmm. I don't do shit for the city. Them people still waiting for my response. <laughs> what did it do for the city? They still ain't posting. 
He ain't came out with a new project yet. I'm just saying they ain't do shit for the city, man. Okay, but you're talking about a city. Do you think it resolved anything between them, the people that was nah, on the... Nah, because it wasn't genuine. It was just, who gonna post me? Who gonna do this? Who gonna do that? It, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't... It wasn't genuine. What's genuine if I was sitting there meeting them? So yeah, I, I was sitting there saying... Bro, okay, we, bro, we ain't talking about you no more. What we gonna do to help these new niggas come so they won't fall out? Zener, we go to Zener, Bumper Johnson, AFT, Montana, Montana, Seven. Montana 700, the, the uh, Little Chop, man. It's a lot of motherfuckers that's hot right now. We talking about some- But I think I did hear him say something about them. He did yeah, say, but, he did mention But them. that's a platform where, where, that's a big platform where we could just keep on yelling their name for the for the world. You know what I'm saying? What we gonna do, we can't, we need to go to South Dallas, help Brenda, the little girl that got a baby that, that don't know what to do, the girls that stuck in them hotel room. You know what I'm saying? Them kids who mama's up there, they're uh, leaving them at home at night going Go to go party and come back home. We need to go. We talk about that girl that died in the garage with her son. And and, and all this. We got a lot of shit to talk about. But we talking about some rap shit. When we got the perfect platform to talk about shit that need to be talked about to help the city. Wow. I I I, I don't know. You know, people on the internet really don't know how to stay spinning, bro. Like when you was on no jumper, uh -huh. you 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 opened up about. I mean, I think. Wag 100 brought up Yella mm -hmm. and he was gonna call him on the phone and mm -hmm. y'all did a song and dance uh, you know off the cameras mm -hmm. I think from what I heard um, what was that all about I mean why do y'all what is it what are y'all trying to do are y'all trying to come together and resolve y'all issues are y'all trying to or is it really something that y'all trying to fix or or what is it what, what what is it you know people look at me and be like oh man you would rain or you, you know what I'm saying I don't mm -hmm. even know what's going so, on with so it so let me ask you a question do you do you see anybody anybody trying to put Jordan and Pippen back together in the same room? No, <laughs> exactly. The, the Bulls are still playing. <laughs> the city of Chicago ain't trying to fix nothing that happened in the past. It's cool, man. We just we achieving life. We achieving our goals in life, and we trying to make it for the next generation. See, I'm here to stay for a long time because you know what I'm saying. See, certain people don't know how to evolve with the. Situations is going on in life. You know what I'm saying? When I was a club promoter, then I sat back and said, Who I'm tired of passing out these flies? I need to start fucking with the artists. And then the dancing era came through, and I made a bunch of money out there. And then and then Dallas stalled for a little bit because it was no more money. And then with then I got me an artist and, and named Mo3 because I couldn't th make no more money out the dance artists because they they stalled. So when I got Mo3, and then that situation that situation came, 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 and now it's left. Then you got to keep evolving in life. I can't keep on asking no blog, why y'all not posting Mo3? Why y'all not posting this about Mo3? That shit came and left. It's time to go to the next the next stage. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk about shit that happened in the past. Now I get on these platforms and make other uh, other opportunities. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Bigger opportunities. Uh, the, 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 the situation. Shout out to Unique Red. You know what I'm saying? Unique Red. That's a that's a new artist that you and yeah. and uh, Sean Cotton is is linking together to 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 help uh, uh, put light on her career, give her opportunity. And we having a young black girl. And she's from uh, San, Antonio. She's San Antonio. Yeah, baby. shout out to San Antonio, man. Yeah, she gave she she give her daddy all the credit that she love her daddy. Uh, her baby daddy died in jail. She 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 says and and, and she was the person. You know how them baby mama be like. I I wish you this. I wish you die. I wish you get out of my life this next. She really got out of her life. So now she taking care of his other daughter and and, and they son together. So I shout out to her now. And she just putting in her music, trying to make the best the best of what it can what it do. So the last year since I met her, I've been on it for a year and never put nothing behind her. Uh, she was working hospice. Really? Yeah. So she watched people at the last stages of their lives. You understand what I'm saying? At the last days of their lives, so she humble. Yeah. So you know, um, uh, we're just trying to change lives. So that's why we got on the podcast to do to help try to change some people's lives instead of talking about shit that happened five years ago, ten years ago, the shit that don't even matter in life no more. Wow. As you, as you talk about, um, I don't know. This came up on my head whenever mm -hmm. you're talking about how she lost her baby daddy and stuff like that. Did you see that article about that woman who? Um, her baby daddy is out there in the streets and whatever, and she called, and she no, she made a post and said where he was, uh -huh. and uh -huh. said because <clears throat> I think he was into it with some other gangs or whatever, uh -huh. and said I don't understand why he ain't been got yet. This is this, so she like on the slide said he always at X Y Z at this uh -huh. address. <laughs> I can't understand how comes he ain't never gotten you know murk whatever. Uh -huh. 
And he did. They went and got him. Did you see that? Yes, yeah, it. What you think about a baby mama like that? Uh, you gotta watch these girls. These girls, these girls got a lot of. It's a lot of drama. I even with the Mo Three situation, I watched the girl watch, and make her baby daddy jealous of a Mo Three. He sat outside the whole time, and, and then he kill him, and then the baby mama snitch on him. You gotta watch these girls. Cause that girl wanted her baby daddy out of her life. She said it. Yeah, yeah, she did that. She should be contempt for murder too. But these baby daddies gotta stand up though. Cause sometimes, sometimes these 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 mamas, these ba- see, listen. And this was wrong with you. Gotta watch a woman and say, "I want to." That now women are saying they want babies instead. Of, I want to be married. I watch yeah, a lot of young women. I always say that, "Well, oh, I want a baby." You don't want to be married. You don't want a ring. Nah, you got me fucked up. Think I'm gonna let my daughters do that. But look at you. You ain't married. No, uh, yeah. And you got baby mamas. I understand that, but see. So you fell for the okie doke. Uh, yeah. Because at the end of the day, I was lost. You understand what I'm saying? I got I had four four kids and t- t- since Mo three died, I was lost. So you're found now. Yeah, I'm found now because I'm so the one that you went. You gonna I'm, marry? Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm I'm I'm, I'm watching the I'm watching these kids grow and I'm looking in their eyes and I'm sitting there I'm I'm sitting there sitting there saying I can't keep doing foolish shit like I be up all night drinking and and really just um how old are you now? Uh, thirty four. I really just uh uh the last three years I've been miserable. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm really be miserable and lost. Cause I don't care about how much money you get. You still have you still be miserable. I've been miserable because really my partner gone, and then I got I go to my one of my rooms. I see Roy Lee now, and you know what I'm saying. So you know. Um, have you tried to go on counseling? Uh uh-uh. uh. Why? Because uh, counseling, it just life it's just life lessons. Have you tried it though? Uh uh-uh. <clears throat> like when I was miserable and broke, and I went to prison. Prison, I ain't need no damn counseling. I I need prayer. So you know you just gotta get your connection back, you know. But I have been lost. I was lost, like I was lost. I can tell that you, you really, you, 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 you know. I always say you got a good heart when it come down to God. You speak a uh-huh. lot of godly things, bro. I do know that you, you try. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's all we can ask, really. Yeah, I was a dumbass though. One time, one time, I took forty thousand dollars in the strip club and went in there and threw about five to ten thousand dollars. And went to church and gave and gave God two hundred dollars of my ties. Mm. The fuck am I doing out here, <laughs> man? Let me ask you something. I gotta <laughs> get you. How many people do that? No, no. Yeah. Let me let me get you. Let me get let me get you. Let me, let me get you right here, man. Uh-huh. Uh, I gotta go back to Diddy, man. They got a little white guy that they saying he was a mule, like he took. Mm-hmm. He took the uh, some kind of when they when they busted everybody, he got caught with a little work, and. Uh, now P did it, you know. A day later, he goes golfing, right? Mm. So, so like, do you really think that? How does P did it get out of this? Like, does he come out on the other side okay? He got billion dollars. We know he had it. What they charging him with? They ain't charging him with nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? They turn, what is that a damn? What is it? They turn every black man down if they, if they're not if a black man not selling dope, he ain't doing nothing illegal. They turn him down by saying how freaky he is. Black niggas freaky. You hear me? Like we freaky. <laughs> like 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 at the end of the day, so they did Bill Cosby like that. They couldn't they couldn't they couldn't get him for nothing else but being a freak. R. Kelly. R. Kelly being a freak. Now they now you can't uh P. Diddy, P. Diddy is just a, a big nigga with more money than all them. So to turn him all the way down, they saying he gay. They said he was he, he was he was raping little boy. He was raping no, he wasn't even raping little boys. They put the little boys on Michael Jackson. They said he was freaky about the little boys. They never never came out. So now on on uh, on P Diddy, they go say that he gay. See that see you could be the biggest snitch in the world. You don't have to take care of your kids. You ain't got to do shit in life. In the black community, if you say you gay, that fuck up your whole reputation. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So 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 that's the worst thing you can say about a nigga is he gay. Like if a nigga can walk in here right now and you can say, yeah, right, he, he told on he told on ten people. Uh ten, ten people. Like, What's up with it? Y'all right, bro? And go about business. Ain't got nothing to do with me. But if he say, yeah, right, he fucked ten mans in the ass, I'm sitting there looking at him like that. Nigga, you even touch me. That's the worst thing in the black community to say a man is gay. So at the end of the day, 
You know, uh, I don't, I don't think P Diddy did all that. You don't? No, nah, they trying to turn. He was too. He had too much power. I said, what about all the people he helped, man? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. A billionaire that's having wild parties. Oh, no, nah, you weren't supposed to act like that with a billionaire. What's the difference between him and Hugh Hefner when he was doing it? Hugh Hefner wasn't having. He was having wild party. He had a lot of people over there. That's yeah, but he wasn't. He he had that much money as P Diddy. He didn't have much P Diddy, but he had a lot yeah, of wild yeah. party. Yeah, so and a lot of and so, lot, back then the seventies and stuff. The cocaine was yeah. living. So P Diddy is actually not inviting the right people to the parties. You know what I'm saying? You don't think so? Hell no. Nah. He needed he 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 helping was biting the right people to the party that was in there getting free ass. Nigga PD was in there, they was in there charging for ass. All them girls are never charged for ass. Do you think that Suge Knight, Suge Knight says that they when they came, they looking for stuff to why they, they can try to hide what's going on. They trying to go in there and look and see. They yeah. don't want people to be incriminated, so they trying yeah, to get yeah, all yeah, of Yeah, they got cameras. He said they had cameras in every room. So yeah, they got they probably, he probably got the mirror in there getting wild. He got, so man, you agree with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I went to a PD party before. What? <clears throat> After the Grammys? 2000. <laughs> what happened in there? Huh? It wasn't that wild, though. I think they had me on one side. <laughs> <laughs> what you think? You wanted to see all the wild stuff. I was looking. I was looking. I, you know, I'm in there trying to mack on every hoe. They, they probably thought I was a pimp or something. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they got. Me. I got out of there fast. Though. You get to the P Diddy party. I got you I'm looking because you done heard. Yeah, you done yeah. heard about the Diddy party. Man, little bow wow, over here. I, was, I we, everybody just you know it was down hanging out in L A. Kicking it, yeah. Go back y'all to the pool. Everybody just kicking it. You know what I'm saying? But you know, at the end of the day, uh, y'all were too ghetto. I mean, I was too southern. <laughs> you were too southern. Yeah. <laughs> What about what about Jay? Jay hadn't said nothing. People aren't stepping up for Diddy. I don't see nobody saying anything. Oh, Jay next. Only one they spoke up. I think it was Tyree spoke up. Who else spoke up for Diddy? It was somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I, I, Glasses Malone. He spoke Glasses up. Glasses Malone. It was a few people that spoke up for Slim him. Thugs mentioned something. Too. Slim. Who else? It was a lot of them. That, that, but it wasn't the ones that like Mary J or none of them. Yeah, Jay. Jay Nix. Jay Z. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Jay-Z and next. Man, watch. I, I give it five to ten years. I'm going to come across him and Beyonce. Ooh, you keep this tape. And say, Rainwater. You, and then you do a remember. And say, Rainwater told y'all. So I'm going to have him and Beyonce. First, they're going to get a divorce. And Jay did all this shit. And, and now it's coming back. Watch. It's going to happen. Jay so dope. And you still ain't went to jail in the past. You still owe these people for taxes in, in the 80s. 90s. It's time that they, 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 them, they, nigga, they, them people know you didn't let you get away with too much shit. Damn, man, Jada, Jada got himself caught up. You think he, he can get He got more than enough money to pay them back if that's the case. Did it did too though. Did it did too. Nah, they don't want your money. They want they want your they want your reputation. They yeah. want your power. Yeah. You give them, you know they they know you got they know you you got money. That power. Listen, P Diddy power was taken away when he and they say he was fucking boys. He. <laughs> I heard that the Ciroc thing was what that, that liquor company, uh, and I heard they moved Jimmy Iovine according to Suge Knight. Allegedly, they moved Jimmy Iovine and Dr. Dre into that into that space where P Diddy was already. Yeah. So they the new you know faces for this liquor. For Ciroc. For Ciroc. For, for, it's a it's a yeah, liquor company. Yeah, it's like, like Yeezy. Do you think that really is something that they're doing? But it's like Yeezy, like 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 Kanye. They forgot they just tore him down. They didn't say he was freaky though, because they know Kanye keep his shit private. Kanye probably don't party with nobody. Or nothing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And and and, and you, he, he got married. He he did the proper steps. Okay, I'm I'm coming up to be one of the most uh, powerful black men in the world, right? So let me go get a white lady. We go marry, go, go do the same thing. Go get protected by Kim Kardashian, have a baby, come back. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing good in life. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. Now they still want something. They can't find nothing on you because they can't say you was freaky. They can't say nothing about you, so they 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 come they come and make the black people think that he's the worst person in the world and take his shoes. Damn, it's always somebody. They did Kobe like that. You forgot they did Kobe like that. I remember that. They did Michael Jordan like that. They said that he was they had a gambling problem. What about see Stevie J stepped up and said he want to punch uh, Fifty man. Stevie J. Stevie J. Say he want to get in there. He he want to have a a, a bout fight. a fight because of they said that Stevie J. Allegedly there's a tape going around of him at a, with a man freaky. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I ain't that freaky. <laughs> you got to be a nasty motherfucker. That's man. a legend, man. You got to be a nasty motherfucker. He pissed about it because he didn't like him saying it to get close to another man, but her. Did you hear what I said? He yeah, pissed. I, okay, I'm just sitting there telling you. You got to be nasty. You got to be nasty. He pissed about it. 
He don't like it. He say 50 cent. He really allegedly say 50 to one out here spreading this stuff, man. A grown nigga. <laughs> Do you do? Are oh, you gonna get into some acting, man? Let me skip out of this mm-hmm. subject. Uh, you know, Fifty got this spot down there in Shreveport. Yeah. You thinking about getting into some acting or what? I've been watching the shit out of BML. Me too. But are you thinking about yeah, getting? You yeah. got a name. You yeah. should go down there. Yeah, listen. On Thursdays, I stay up to twelve o'clock at night to watch BML. <laughs> you love BML, man. That bitch a fool. That bitch a fool. You just like the hustling and the gangster, the gangsterism. Nah, I just like the story. The story. Big Meech finna come out next year. He gonna be the biggest thing. Who you think was the biggest? Big Meech or Freeway Ricky? I asked Freeway Meech. Ricky. This. I asked Freeway Why Ricky. Was this. Uh-uh. I asked Freeway Ricky this, and he didn't really. He didn't go into details like that. He said people ask him that question all the time. And you can even think, throw Frank Lucas up in there. Who was the biggest out of these guys? Oh, Frank. You think Frank bigger than all of them? Because mm-hmm. because he went to the connect. And um, and Me- Meech was just doing some street shit. But, but Meech was bigger cities, than. Man. But he said Meech was bigger than Freeway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't know nothing about either. You didn't know. You didn't know nothing about Freeway. You didn't watch a Snowfall. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but we ain't know nothing about him. We ain't know nothing, man. Big Meech, powerful. The only, pe- the only reason people knew about Meech is because of that song. Right? No, no, no. But we knew no, about. No, no, no. We yeah. knew about BML. Yeah, we knew about BML. And you ain't shit. You ain't legendary till you put some. Till you, till you actually put somebody on in the work and see you put them on. Who Freeway put on? Man, I talked to Shitty and Shitty them gave me some numbers that was extraordinary. When I when I, Shitty Shitty uh Freeway, that's his name. Shitty, that's his right hand man. It's articles about this. Freeway say he, you know, he he done sold three million dollars worth of dope. I believe in one day. Real crazy numbers, bro. Yeah, we talking about put people on like the world know BMF put Jeezy on because it's a movement. Yeah, but that wasn't freeway. Yeah. That wasn't the way freeway moved. He didn't really yeah, get yeah, into yeah, all yeah. that. that he his. didn't ever even watch Jerry none of that stuff. He was low key, bro. That was his fault. He didn't want to do it. He so, still don't yeah, do it. So that's why I say he was the last place. I don't agree with that. He just opened that spin. He doing his thing. He's a guy that really don't show it. He ain't finna do that. But he's talking he about when you look at Mark Cuban and all these guys that's really really getting money. Uh, Warren Buffett now. So they how, never show so it. So how can I tell what he undone and who he bigger than? If he never showed it. Bro, you got to understand, you on that black dude stuff. Yeah, we don't know. It's all a myth. We can see what they done. <laughs> Ain't who nobody, who you talking about Warren Buffett? No, we can see what uh, uh, BMF, uh, BMF did and Frank Lucas. We can't see what he done. Man, Freeway was just as huge, bro. What, it's a myth. We don't know. We're, it's we're, not a myth. That's documentation stating it. Yeah, I understand that. But that's, that's documents that... that yeah, okay. Why do you think you get all that time? Okay, black, black people don't look at documents. Man, it's in the paperwork, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's uh, in the yeah, paperwork. But, we, but black people want to see a TV show or something. Snowfall. Snowfall. We got it. You need to call yourself Ricky. No, they didn't want to give him the recognition. No, on that's his fault. He got to get the business together. But it, it, everybody know that was about him. Now, uh, no. you didn't know that was about Freeway. I ain't never sit there and watched it. You didn't like that one. Uh, I don't. Uh, uh, now nah, you I never watched Snowfall. I like the movement. I don't know nothing about dope. I'm selling weed and shit. That's a broke nigga hustle to me. Every nigga that I ever seen that sell dope end up broke. I never seen a, a nigga successful from selling dope. What was Big Meech them doing? He broke now. <laughs> Every nigga that I seen sell dope end up broke. That's like a stripper. I ain't never seen a successful stripper make it out the stripper game. Man, Cardi B made it. I gone with that, bro. No, Cardi B. The, Cardi B was a stripper, man. Yeah, but she was a rapper. Her, it don't matter. It, she was a yeah, stripper I first. I understand that. I'm saying, but she. So he's talking about straight stripping. Straight stripping. Yeah, like waking up. That's they how they hustle. Know. They flipping. They trying to come up with ways they to get never out of it. They come out of it. Cardi B did. Man, I got. I know a stripper right now that I graduated with. Name Gucci. She been in there about 15, 16 years. Oh, going on by about 17, 18 years. 18 years. What's Gucci? Yeah. Shout out to Gucci Yeah And she still ain't got She ain't got the money Shout stacked out to, to Gucci to you, you have it But you gotta get your hair done You gotta spend a thousand dollars For this thousand dollars For that thousand dollars For this So at the end of the day You just You stuck You like the dope game Dope game They get up to about A hundred thousand Two hundred thousand Three hundred thousand Man, man and, and then go to jail And then come back And do it all over again it's, 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 you never win And fuck the dope game The dope game, dope game Had us thinking A hundred thousand was shit I couldn't wait to get My first hundred thousand that ain't shit. I blew that shit down there two, three weeks. You can blow it easy. <laughs> you sound like Hot Boy West. Free Hot Boy West. Listen, 
I'm gonna be honest with you, man. You gotta stop. You gotta stop and think about it, man. When you got all these people watching you, man, there's a lot of people waiting to see if you can. People say, can he do another Mo three? I'm not trying. Now, I'm to just saying, this. can he do another you know, artist? Period. All he did, he all that nigga did, he was one artist. He got he lucky with that. Yeah, they should have did it. <laughs> Listen, I'm sorry y'all didn't do it. Y'all should did it. Uh, what I'm trying to do now is get a huge nil check for my daughter. <laughs> yeah, I, if I see my daughter be the starting point guard at Duncanville High School, that's bigger than me. With any rapper, any any rapper, yeah, any of that rap stuff. Fuck this, yeah, that's it. Yeah, they wasn't never, but it wasn't never my goal to be no damn manager. They wasn't. They were, you was a man. You wasn't and said you wanted to manage Mo Three. Yeah, I'm saying before that. No, I didn't say I wanted to manage. When I when I met Mo Three, I wasn't didn't know I was gonna be his manager. I wanted. I was thinking janky. I wanted a middleman. I, I was thinking smile. I just wanted a middleman on the shows. Wow. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to help him get shows and, and get my $500 off top. Wow. Wow. What did you think about Seven the Great came on here? What do you think about when Seven the Great, he answered you, he was on a basketball court. Um, when he was on the basketball court, he said rain, you know, like, because you had came on here previously and they posted it. And said that you said, and I didn't think nothing about it when you did it. I'd be so lost in the situation. He say, "Big three. I say, and I started getting calls about that, bro. Like, they, he didn't like that. Else, he wouldn't have brought you up in that verse. He wants some clout. Uh, you saying his name first? Though. I mean, you you I call him, you call it Big Three though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you. Uh, 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 he need to be speaking on them kids over there in his, in this section. Who's doing without? You didn't think about them three kids that died that died at the goddamn store the, uh, the, a week ago. You didn't talk about them three the, the, about Bubba, Bubba getting shot at that store. We need it's a lot of shit you could talk about. You come talk about me. You just want some clout. Listen, you forty five years old and making a diss song. You it, it, you went in the studio and said, "All right, I got grandkids too. All right, I'm gonna just reply to Rainwater." You had a time. You had that was your chance to shout out your grandkids, shout out to to the people that done lost your your kids, your anybody in life, and you started to say rainwater now. Hey. <laughs> Don't make no damn sense. These people just be talking about some crazy. We ain't talking about this. What's important in life right now? It's just going back and forth over some bullshit. <laughs> you got a nice. Why you didn't, why you didn't shout out the trucking company business? You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't like you old motherfuckers. Because you old niggas ain't giving the kids game to be successful. You know one thing I did, I watched Boss Talk and I watched the nigga Brewster. I like Brewster. Yeah, Brewster go in. Listen, listen, I like Brewster. Listen. Brewster sit there and took a nigga to a juvenile the other day, right? And the nigga had the time to talk to some kids. And never saying, bro, what's successful in life? It's me waking up to my kids in my houses and providing for my mama to be successful. You ain't gonna be able to do it in here because you gotta get out and get your life together. You know what the nigga said? Shit, you, you know, I've been to jail too. You been to jail for 24 hours, 48 hours. Nigga, you ain't did no time in jail, <laughs> nigga. You went to jail damn near for tickets. Ain't gonna tell these kids you been to jail trying to trying to uh, up, uplift your goddamn jail record. Nigga, you, nigga, Who you we want me too gangster so bad? Yeah, I, yeah, you, play, you play that clip in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what, what we talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I'm, asking, I'm asking this, man. I gotta yeah. get back to it, man. I didn't know, and I was so, I didn't know that Roy Lee and some wasn't seeing eye to eye when he passed away. Mm -hmm. He told me that, and I didn't know that. I, and he said, "But you know, they were good partners." Man, they was nigga. nigga listen, Roy Lee wanted the respect from Seven and Gray. Seven and Gray didn't give it to him. It, but they was partners though, didn't they? Used to be together before the, all that, right? I don't know. Since we I was, thought they had a relationship. Since we had with him, but you know, you know, Roy Lee died. Bubba died, and they was both Mo Three partners. They looked up to Seven Gray. Wow, you and and they, and how was Mo Three and Seven Gray? Seven Gray was was uh he was hating on Mo Three. Cause when Bubba, why did he say that? When Bubba died and and Roy Lee died for beefing with this one person, Seven Gray called the, the uh, buddy over there to do an interview. I mean, do a a, a video in their hood. So it was it was based nah, on all right now nah, they can't you can't people can't pick sides no, bro no 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 no, no, no. like like it, you that. people work with no, people no, no, in no, the city no, man I understand that but that was the way to sit there and say what 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 you had with these two niggas that was some mo three shit 
you're welcome to our side of town. And that's why his, his hood didn't even respect it no more. Or the hood didn't support him no more. Oh, you know, a you, lot so, of so, so instead, listen like this. Instead, as a grown man, because you're in your 40s, and you know these kids is beefing over here, right? Why would you bring some? Uh, why would you bring a nigga from your side to be? Why you want to do? Why you want to do songs with a, another affiliate gang member in, 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 in your neighborhood when you're trying to help your neighborhood? You see, when you get to that age and you see two groups of beefing, I'm counseling both sides because with right now you're destroying the city. <laughs> Never, you gotta talk about it But so, you gotta understand right Just like I interview you all the time mm -hmm. That don't mean that I don't rock with Yellow yeah, yeah, That don't no, mean no, I don't no. rock with anybody else I'm just telling you But it, it means Maybe he was gonna okay, do that And this. still be a part of whatever else was going on Nah he, he didn't know Three wanted to do a song with him They just maybe never got it done No he didn't want to do it how do you know? I, man, he didn't want to do it. <laughs> the fuck? He didn't want to do it. I'm trying to... Did, 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 did he three reach out to him? Bro, he's against anything more three had going on. Well, you know... I, you I ain't never... In, in three or four years, you ain't never said R.I.P. Mo 3. You said R.I.P. Mo 3. Rainwater, I know what you did last summer. So basically, you, before you say my name and the city turn you down for being against Mo 3, you got to say R.I.P. Mo 3. So say let me get Mo three out of there because I know how Mo three fans is, and then let me say, Rainwater, I know what you did last summer. Well, that's what I do last summer. No, your old ass grew up watching that movie, and then and then and then you say, uh, make sure Mo three key is good, uh, key is good, and then Roy Lee Bay mama come on there to make a post say, Rain take care of the Mo three, uh, Mo, 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 um, Rain take care of our kids. And then he say, he just did it for clout. That didn't make sense to me. So let me let me tell you this right here, seventh grade. So since we trying to make sure kids are good, let's put both put up ten thousand dollars and donate it to your neighborhood. Let's do it like this. Since you had you had audacity to go online and and make a diss, uh, make a deal. I don't know what you did, but now I'm gonna do some grown man shit. I'm gonna do some grown man shit. Let's donate ten thousand to your neighborhood. To whatever company you got, we're going to do it together. So that's $20,000 that your neighborhood can get back right now. So when you ever you ready, come on. Let's let us let's straight up, straight up. So you had so much on your mind that you had to sit there and say, Rainwater, make sure Mo3 kids good. They me in there. So we're going we to keep them over here to the left side. But it's some people over here we need to help to the right. You know what I'm saying? We need to go right. God always say, do the right thing. So we're going to go right. So since you had that much on your mind, let's put up ten thousand dollars for uh, what was that? Where they from? Dixon Circle. Shout out Dixon Circle. Dixon Circle. So somebody over there can use it. So you got twenty four hours to, to to respond to that. But we go donate it, and we ain't gonna donate to nobody you know. We'll go down. To, we'll go. I'm gonna call some of the councilmen, the people in the South Dallas district, and we go donate. We'll write a check. We ain't doing no cash. We doing some grown man, big boy shit, and we go donate it. Man, so you. Hey, I, I, that would help them. That would help out. Yeah, yeah. Watch a rapper go ghost. So you willing to donate ten thousand dollars? That's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's good. My good, that's good. Do you? I mean, when you look at these the, these different impoverished neighborhoods throughout the city, um, how much no does it affect you? Like when you see uh, even the re, the uh, the different places where they trying to regentrify and all kind of stuff. Like, what do you see as far as when you look at Dallas and how you could be a part of helping to reestablish some of these neighborhoods? Yeah, I, I like it. I like, like, like the North Dallas, the North Dallas uh, area. They need to drop out. They need to turn down all them apartments. Wow. You talking about like, I don't know the name of it no more. Like it, it's like yeah. it used to be the Indigos. Yeah. You remember the Indigos? Yeah, Indigos. It, it, <laughs> crazy, right? Indigos was big in the market. <laughs> it was big when yeah. I, used to, I used to live there. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was younger. I used to live there. It was, it was nice when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> I spent like a lot of whole houses in the Indigos. <laughs> when I was homeless, oh my God. <laughs> Every part of Dallas, I stayed. I don't spend the night in some low income type houses. Well, so you think that area over there? How do you think? What do you think? It used to be real nice. It used to be a lot nicer. Uh, you go over across forest, you know, forest and all that. To, you know, all that stuff. Nah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, the most dangerous neighborhood in Dallas right now is six five. Six four, right there. Where Pleasant Grove, the Grove, Masters, and Lake John. The the. Man, them young niggas over there. 
How do you know? You ain't out there no more. You just know. You just read if somebody. The papers. Yeah. Uh, there ain't no way I got no papers. Pleasant no Grove. He's reading the papers. Pleasant Grove and Fort Worth kids or violence. Like straight up. Fort Worth, six, 16 through 22 year old or the dumbest motherfuckers you'll come across. They kill it. They kill it. They wow. ain't got no remorse at all. Fort Worth little niggas is killing. That's all they know is to kill. And shoot. He said Fort Worth. Go yeah yo. He came home. Right. Music he 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 put he going back in on his music trying to he figure this out. Like what do you think about Go Yeah, what he dropped, the interview like he did it. with Sean Cotton. Now nah, he did the interview good, but then he came back and went backwards. What do you, what do you mean? He gotta spit some knowledge in them damn talk about some of them damn Song. He better be glad Mo three. You and Bruce are saying yeah, the same thing. He, he better be glad Mo. They're yeah. right. Yeah, you got to be talking about something. But don't y'all think it's he didn't write when he was locked up? According, and I don't know him. I, I yeah, don't know yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, from what Sean told me, he pretty much didn't write, and he basically now he's trying to figure it out. Now as no, he's going, no, no, he's going because he made the uh, then uh, then uh, did like he he kind of switched it up. But that first two songs, I think he had in his head like they want that gangster shit from me. So you so so switch it. If three would have got out with the jail, he'll be talking about how he would have made a song how bad he missed his kids, his mama, he's bad to be back on the streets. And the whole world have been singing it. That's hard. You understand what I'm saying? No, that's hard. But he came back with some slack, slack shit and all kind of shit and just like 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 we're no you gangster. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, where you just came from, where you just came from, they wanna hear about the stories in there. Tell us about. Let us talk. Let us hear about the. Let, we don't want to hear about the gangsta shit. You know what I'm saying? Let us hear about the the the. Let us hear about the. Nigga, your your silly. Yo, you know what I'm saying? Them people die. The people dying while you was in while, while you was in prison. You know what I'm saying? That'll be a hard yeah, yeah pe segue. People, people, mama dying. Tell about that silly that that, that that ain't getting out. About his story that somebody snitched on ain't getting out. We need to, they need to hear some knowledge. You and him don't have a relationship of no sort. Nah. But but I think I, I agree with you. Yeah, I agree with that. What you're saying. Yeah, it's some knowledge in the situation that people. Did you, you agree with that? Like to to tell that real story of what yeah. was going on. People love to hear that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they want to sit back and hear. So what happened? You spent you did more time than a lot of rappers that here in Dallas. So we want to hear what happened. Like Twisted Black, we want to hear them. Twisted Black. Let me tell you, that's my I fuck with Twisted Black. That's your boy now. Huh? But yeah, yeah, yeah. But Twisted Black still ain't told us the jailhouse stories. I think he gonna tell them though. It's too, yeah, but you waiting too late. It's anticipation of when you got out. We want to know what happened. You should be you 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 should be putting the alley hoop to this person that was crying, couldn't get out. This person that was this and this person. We got We need to hear. That's the that that's that's the difference from 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 a lot of people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Go yeah, yo. go. I, I'm I'm telling you. A lot of people waiting. You you made statements on here before he came out. You were like, I think everything gonna be cool and go. Yeah, nah, come on. I remember a, you said that. But he, since he came home, he's evolved into a grown man. Because I heard him say, "I be with my badass kids. I be with my kids." You know, uh, uh, he evolved into a, a grown man. The worst thing people. The worst thing. Yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, I think when he got out, he realized, you know. He, he, he trying to be grown, so I think it's coming. I told I told Bugatti yesterday. I talked to Bugatti all the time. Uh, you gotta be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Like when you get out, ain't nobody care about that gang shit. I told him he need to sign a rapper. Wow. I I think I think you 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 keep saying the same thing about them getting to sign rappers and after their career seem to be you know pretty much. I guess where they've already done a lot of the stuff they can do, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people still looking for that big song. They never got that outside. They never got that ice cream paint job. They never got it. It's still a lot of artists that have never got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. But sure. uh, everybody not gonna be like Big X the Plug that can make Big X the Plug be jamming. He's a jamming artist. He can say he be if you put his music on the the way it's hitting the snap the boom. You know everybody gonna keep listening to it over and over. I do it. Listen to it over and over again. Just let it roll. You know what I mean? Everybody don't have that. That's what make him different for me. You know what I mean? When I went to the barbershop the other day, they, they, I put I that like, big extra plug on, and it just started yeah. going, and we just we just start jamming that whole and it just I, 
you it can jam so long you don't even know it's playing. Yeah. Uh, I, you I, do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody don't have that, bro. Yeah, I like I like big ass. Uh, I'm a so I I I I just been riding around listening to four bats lately. Man, his I don't even one know. song. Mm-hmm. No, he got a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of them. But listen, four bats just came up out of nowhere. Did you know him before mm-hmm. then? Mm-hmm. Listen up. Didn't he sign to Drake? Where is the video? I don't think he signed yet. I think he signed to Drake. He signed to Drake. Where is the video? He ain't do now. He don't have to. Drake don't have to. None of them don't have to. When you you good. But it's a different way they doing it. Don't you think sometimes it's something new? It's time to do it a different way? Why do niggas have to do it the same way? I remember when Beyonce just dropped that album like she just did. Just dropped that album. She just dropped, don't tell nobody nothing. She's the first one I seen really doing that and making impact. Did it go number one? Hell yeah. That's Beyonce. <laughs> Four bats came out of nowhere and boom, that whole went up. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah, he did the thing, but shit, uh. Mm-hmm. I think for bad to, I, you think he'll be all right? You think he's going to be all longevity? They better be glad they ain't my orders. Why? Because the world will know. The world will know. I want to see what he do. I want to see can he pack out pack out the uh, show in Dallas. I don't know if he can. Nobody, they don't really know it. But they, yeah, yeah, hell yeah, he can. Yeah, you got something. Yeah, he can. He you can. Got, you got, got something with Drake. You got something with Drake. I have billboards all around, around this motherfucker. If Rainwater had a song artist by Drake, you would know just by my interviews. I have billboards everywhere around this bitch. Nigga, nigga, er, nigga, I have trains wrapped. Nigga, I have, nigga, his whole hood be posters everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna make him the king fast. We got, to, we, we ain't got that much time. We got, nigga, he just did a song with Drake. We got 48 hours to make an impact on Dallas. Rain, I'm gonna be honest with you. You jump on the internet, you say stuff. People, you, this last time you say he can't get ten thousand dollars to get to, you ain't gonna be able to make no money. When you got this artist coming and all that, that was my show. Okay, but still, what people looking at that? They don't know that's your show. People still, that's they, on the internet right now. Yeah, you should have came to the show and see me. That's, but there's an internet. There's a, somebody not even in Texas see you on the internet, still saying it. And, 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 and you'll see me if you just keep on the internet. You'll see me and Fredo Banks with each other almost every week. <laughs> so, so. <laughs> Dude. I'm just tricking. The, I'm just tricking. I'm just tricking the internet. What? Okay, you. Got- and I learned. Let me tell you this. Anything negative on the internet after 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 seventy two hours, it go away. So put it like this. Any any rapper that's cool with Gilly. I give them. I give them one month. And if anybody that rapper that's cool with Gilly, somebody gonna be cool. Gonna be in the same room with Charles, and nobody say nothing to him. Cause it, it ain't it don't it's nothing. It don't matter. It's the internet. It's not the streets. See the streets. The streets remember stories. Just let a nigga, let a nigga go. Done got his ass whooped in the middle of the hood, or ran from somebody in the middle of the hood, right? Or 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 a nigga telling everybody in the hood that girl burnt him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That people remember that for twenty, thirty years. But let some go. So let some go viral. It's old. It's old after twenty four hours. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell you right now. Anything that you do, if you, if you don't if you don't pay attention to what's going on uh, on that internet, and you put the story out, I know from doing what I do. If if you don't put it out just right at the right time, nobody ain't watching for it no yeah, more. Man, it's over. It's over. Do you? I've had. I've, I talked to um, my boy uh, Gib. Don't really give credit to uh, DJ Khaled. Say he's not really an artist or nothing. Yeah, he's hating. <laughs> do you think that? I mean, what did what did DJ Khaled do though? He put collaborations of he he showed us how to do collaborations to have two different styles of rapping to one style and making a hit. But could you see how somebody could be like, what does he do? Yeah, they, they didn't know what he did. He's successful. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck, <laughs> he's successful. Shit, <laughs> that's not, that sound like a nigga say Rainwater ain't shit. He only had one artist. <laughs> oh, a lot of people be saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people saying that. Do yeah. you think this future thing? Kendrick talked about Drake again. How many times is Kendrick gonna talk about Drake, bro? Mm-hmm. In a verse, you seen that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he dro- he dropped. I'm gonna be top, be focused on that type of general, general, general. I be looking at every. I'm like, man, I, why? I, I, I look, look at the, I look at the south shit like Boosie for, for this two times. That's it. I be interested. Nah, let Boosie right there. You don't know what's a real or fake. 
That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Cause he did it already. Cause some people, some people saying, "Have sixty red showed up, baby?" I ain't even seen no baby. Yeah, where'd the baby go? You was totally against Sexy Red at first, too. You pretty cool with her now, right? Uh -uh. You still think they not uh -uh. unsucking them, not nasty nothing. motherfuckers. That's why I got Unique Red and Unique Red show on the other side. They really rap. Unique Unique is everything I wanted Pink to be. Really? Mm -hmm. and you, what are you guys going to do to make her pop? She been doing all right. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I heard about it, but I'm saying, we built, we built what is y'all going to, well, y'all just going to build up. Y'all not, you don't think she can be like a four bass and just blow up? We ain't, uh, I want it. It's hard to come back. Yeah, it'll come back. Hell nah, if I see, if I see her blowing up too, if I see her blowing up too fast, then, then no, nah, I'm stopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all something else, man. I got my people that I deal with, and y'all, hey, y'all, everybody look for y'all on this channel. Mm. You gone too long this time, right? People, of course, a lot of people glad, but, what made you? What you? What made you cut back a little bit? You were just going. You were that FBY, that boy. That's who you was with. Yeah. You left. Side. I thought you wasn't coming back. Uh, not y'all seem like y'all was. Y'all was cutting up over there together. The album coming out. What he got to do with that? I had to get back grounded. Oh, so you just wasn't getting in the hardly much or nothing. But then I come back to where where the, where the foundation is laid. <laughs> So, how, what's up with I, this guy? What's I, his name? FB. Yeah, NYBJ. I, I, I was at the Grammy. I was at the Grammys, and I'm sitting there the whole time thinking in my head. And people were like, this girl sitting next to me. She was like, what is you thinking? And I'm sitting there the day like, and I let all thinking my th and things about my head is, I gotta leave this grant, leave the Grammys, and go get on Big D Channel <laughs> later on today with Hellcat. <laughs> That's all I think. That's I was all thinking. you think about? I'm sitting there thinking about in my head. Man, R.I.P. to Big D. Big D, I, I kept saying, ooh, I can't wait to get on Big D channel. I'm, I'm getting my speech together. You know what I'm saying? That was a good interview, actually. That was cool, yo. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'll be right. Sometimes sometime throughout the weeks, throughout the weeks, I just note shit that come in my head that I need to say in the interview. It's like rapping. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Take no, but uh, FYB, FYB is a good ass nigga. I heard that. I keep hearing that this nigga is really cool. Yeah, he, uh, like a good dude. He's telling the stories. People want to hear the stories about Duck. About Vaughn, beefing with Vaughn. So you tapping into that Midwest when you dealing with that cat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole different demographic. Mm -hmm. How do you? How did they receive this, you over there? This is, this shit is like rapping. You know what I'm saying? And my partner called me from the gas station while ago. Said, "Bro, nigga said they just seen your new interview, like a new album." <laughs> Where would you at when they talking about uh, over at real life? Uh huh. <laughs> and they just and they just kind of like I said, it's like a new album. Like they they ran, they just see your new interview. This this is the rap stars. So you done flipped it out. Yeah, you seen that early when you and Big D did that interview. You didn't know what was going on at that point. She, you knew that you knew, I knew at the Big D interview, the first one at the Mo Three. I knew my, I knew my artist was gone, so I had to be the voice. And you knew that. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Cause y'all had so much y'all had built up on it, huh? Instead of throwing it away, you no. like. I've been fucking with Big D since 19. I had Adidas outfit on my first time going over there. Yeah. So you had already been messing with him. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Look, Ronnie did an interview with him and I was the second interview he ever did. Damn. And then 2019, I went to real life. I did like 86,000. I did like, like, like 86. So you knew you had some. Mm-hmm. But Mo3 is always telling me to do that. He always told you to. We go. got around people like, bro, talk, talk like you be in, talk like you be in the car. So he's seen that in you. Yeah, yeah, I always tell me that. Like, talk like anybody around us, they'd be like, tell you, like, yeah, this always been my personality. Always. He was just alive. Somebody said that. Yeah. Um, he, was it Lil Ronnie who was no? No, I probably missed the somebody, hit that. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, this said, always been my personality. This, this no, Duro. That's it who was Duro. That's it's who your said it. Duro. Duro, no, I always been. He said you yeah. always been like that. He's been known you a long he time. He said he don't never even like what they see and it's just who you are. He already right. know you. Yeah, he already know me. Then we and Duro and them used to hoop against each other. <laughs> that's who it was. It was yeah, Duro. Duro. Duro, Michael Crabtree. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Everybody used to hoop against each other. Nigga, that's hard, that. man. We grew, up, we grew up hoopers. But so so you okay? Let's let's take it let's take it there. Would you ever would have thought? when you was doing that with Big D, them first interviews, that today Big D and and Mo3 will be gone. Sean, he got you say five o'clock? Yeah. yeah, yeah, that traffic, he gotta get back. Now he interrupting your interview. Yeah, I'm okay, but I'm gonna be bounced out. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah. 
So we, we talk all damn day. But I'm, I'm just saying, man. Did you think that, nah, that, that Big shit, D and Mo Three would be gone? That should be scaring me. Ooh, yeah, it should be scaring. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like my house right now. My house right now. The older you get, your house starts turning into a portrait of like a obituary. Yeah, because he actually interviewed you in that house. Yeah. Nah, he didn't come to my new house. He didn't house. come to the new house. But now nah, I'm saying just my house. You know, you got motor in a while. And my grandpa, the man that I've loved my whole life, he just died. It's and, memories. Yeah, memories. Then my cousin, Aria, she died out of cancer. Then you got, you know, you got just my mama's mama over here. He died and this person died. You know, you know, like, I guess because my, mom, my mama's, that's my mama though, because, you know, any house I get, my mama gonna stay with me. No, that's all. You always my say My mama that. and my daddy. You always Look, say I got hit in the master bedroom. Of course. I'm upstairs like I'm in a kid, like I'm, uh, like I'm 11 like years old again. Me and my daughter share bathrooms. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool though. Yeah, it's cool though. Like, 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 yeah, man. You think I'm, you think I'm gonna get rich and leave my mama? No. You know what I'm saying? I can't blame you. I'm gonna put my mama in this little old house. And, and a little old apartment, or I can get a condo downtown, and I'll be standing in this big old mansion, and 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 have and think I'm gonna have bitches and parties. And I'm gonna turn it to P Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> what you really need to do is buy a lot of property where you have the main house right here. That's your house with your family, and then your mom that can have her did. privacy Boosted over did. here. Nah, but I, I need my mom downstairs. I can hear. Yeah, that's how I like. She'll still be on your property, yeah, so nah, you can go I, over I, there and go see her. Well, now nah, I need to hear somebody accidentally slip and fall. Somebody, something happened. I need to hear. Mm. I know that's right. You know what I'm saying? I agree, man. Man, my mama, all I got. Oh, your mama's still young though. Yeah, but I'm saying this period though. Like I, my mama, all I got. My mama, my mama been there since day one. So you think I need to be the same role model? Wow. You know what I'm saying? I be down. I be down to sit there and and and, and live lavish. Live lavish, my mom. My mom, man, hell, nah. she a heart. Yeah, she gonna be the one praying for me if I go in that hospital bed. See, these niggas keep on forgetting who go pray for them until they gone. These people be keep on forgetting who go who when 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 the whole world turn against you, who who, who you go call. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, man, I will be a dumb man. You got me, man. I ain't no goofy. You know what I'm saying? By a long shot, I ain't no goofy. If I stay, if I stay gone two or three days. Two or three days, like to this day, I can walk in the house at five o'clock. It's my house. I walk like at five o'clock in the morning, and my mama, my mama sit there and say, "I've been waiting on you come home." That's hard. Ain't nobody gonna do that. These bitches ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I agree. Yeah, you can't. You niggas gotta stop looking for the girl that go lay with you and the people who go pray with you. Come on now, the boy—he he might be a rapper. <laughs> that's right, that bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I think that's dope, man. Uh, that you recognize that some people just don't get. Your mom still say you? No, my mom passed right. away, so that's See? why when, yeah. I, when you say stuff, yeah. I respect it because I was yeah. young when she passed away. Uh -huh. So it's like I just respect what you're saying because everything you're saying is what you know. I wish I could have done. So mm -hmm. I really be over here thinking like that. She know it. Mm -hmm. I'm not even saying that. No, I got quiet. Once I get quiet, it's tough because yeah. I'm really thinking like, dang, man, I just man, think the back. Best times like, that's my, dope that you get to do that, which I mean, you should enjoy that. Yeah, I got my kid. I got five kids probably running around. My oldest daughter, she, my oldest daughter, she, as soon as I got some money. See, I wasn't in her life to that much because I was in, I was going to them dumb ass shows. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I'm saying? And doing this from throwing, yeah. throwing parties and all this. So, as soon as I got stable, I moved with her and, and changed her whole life. So, you know, uh, some people got to be silent, man. Some people can't be selfish, you know. You know, I, I, I stay to the day one people. Let me tell you like this. A lot of rappers, when they get too big, you know, they forget about the foundation that helped them. Mm -hmm. So I don't care how many views you got, how many, how many, how many subscribers you got, this and this, this and that. Matter, uh, 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 matter of fact, everybody go like, like and comment and share. But uh, I don't care how many subscribers you got. You know, at the end of the day, you gotta understand what kept you grounded. See, the 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 the, the people that kept you grounded, you'll never fall out because you're grounded. See, if you're not grounded, you'll fall right through. But you're grounded, you always got something to fall back on. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. Because a girl, cop, the, the girl told me today, I need some interview. I was going to boss top. I don't want to go no boss top. We need to go this and that, this and that, this and that. How you gonna get there if you don't start with boss top? That's what Sean Cotton said. Yeah, Sean Cotton <laughs> said you got to come on boss talk now. Look, I laughed. You know, I said what? <laughs> that motherfucker was out there passing out twenty dollars at at the West, at the West End station yesterday. He called me, rain. I asked who their favorite rapper was in Texas. They say Mo3 and D-Baby. He said, I said, because you at the bottom. 
I said, yeah. you're grounded. You yeah. can't go no they, you can't go no about no farther than that. You know what I'm saying? Man, shout out to Sean. He man. was giving that money. I said, Sean Cotton, the realist, I man. I said, that make you legendary. Yeah. So that's what sometimes I'm thinking about like four bands. Like, you got to go back and touch them people. But what did you say about some of these people who, um, like example, four bats or people who are, com not say coming up, but came up to a point. They're not up there yet, but they're up here. And if they doing their media runs and stuff like that, they, they prefer to go outside of their own yeah, city yeah, to yeah. do their media they run. Gonna, they gonna find out. You gonna be in, you gonna be looking like I'm gonna name them. They gonna be mad in the bitch. But 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 that's what happened. Uh, listen, if I say your name right now, it ain't for you to get mad at me. It's to, for you to teach the younger generation because it's not about you no more. And so I'm gonna start this out on, on one of the fell off lists, right? And I said he's I, I told the nigga you top three in the Dallas fell off list. And, and he, after after hearing him talk, I'm sitting there saying, he really just didn't know he was a good kid. Who and is that? 10K Cash. You remember he had started the whoa wo and all the way around the world. He was started off at Rolling Louds. He been doing more shows than a lot of people. And I sit there was I was sitting there telling him when he got on the phone this and that because me and him had some words and then he said come and I'm sitting there telling him and he said bro I was 16. He didn't have no guidance. Yeah. So, so, him, Whoever. number one. Number two on the fell out list, Sensei Molly. No, don't do that. Yeah, she was signed, and she forgot about the smaller people. She forgot about all the smaller people in in the what's called And but you can you you can you can tell you can help you can have people come help you. I mean, you can help the next generation. Cash Page was one of the biggest artists around here. Uh, Asian doll, Cuban doll, they back out here. You know what I'm saying? You could once you get the money and the time, you'll go around the whole world. But when shit started not going like it used to, you go find them back in the in Dallas, Texas. Damn. Who uh, else? Lil Twist. Lil Twist got to be the number one. They got to be number one in Dallas, Texas history of flat rap, rap uh, rappers. You circled around the world with fucking Wayne. You was right there with Wayne. Instead of you making your own identity, you wanted to be Wayne. We never even heard of Twist album. Damn. Anybody else in the world? You saying Twist supposed to be bigger than what Twist he is? Twist supposed to be like fucking Drake or fucking Nicki Minaj or Tiger. And he fell off. He didn't even fall. Did he ever come up? But nah. to be with Wayne, you yeah, you was just uh, he was Justin Bieber too though. Yeah. I talked to Lil Twist. I called yeah. him. He say, "Man, what's up? I I think you were Wayne them then." Yeah, tell your story to help the judge right, but you got to be humble. He's supposed to be coming on yeah. Boss Talk. Yeah. I ain't seen yeah. him yet. Yeah, you got to be humble and tell tell the story what you did wrong to help the new the next generation. Don't go on the shell and and pretend in your head that you, that you was the man. But dude, how can you say he fell off though if he already have been with Wayne and he already he's yeah, still with Wayne to this day? I, I, how can you say he fell no, off no, if he's no, still no, in no, the no, mix? No, with no. Them? When I say music, right? When I you say talking musically, musically, I ain't saying that you can have you you can have you can have ten million dollars and still fall off. I get what you're saying. Like Big Yavo, like ain't nobody looking for you. Nobody looking for you no more. Big Yavo, don't bring me. He just no, he addressed no, you on no, no, no. Big Yavo, you see where he addressed yeah, you? Yeah, Big Yavo told said where I fall off, and I'm not talking about musically. I'm talking about. You're I'm not talking about money. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about money. I'm talking about musically. You understand what I'm saying? But my question to you is: all these people that you listed that you said that fell off, can any of them, to you, come back and? Be that person on top again. Nah, once you file, once you once you file off, they have no ground, no ground support. Then that's you done. They can't make a you comeback. Done. You have to put some support around you to make sure. So once you own, you got to build a foundation so you nothing. You can still hit, got something to file on. Nigga, when, once you get ungrounded, you seeking. You hear me? Damn. Hey, I just did a fell off list. I ain't mentioned y'all. I don't know. You ain't got no signal. This whole, yeah, young nation. Who, young nation. Oh, that, yeah. you, they didn't make the list. Nah, because they didn't never they, go worldwide. So all the people that you're talking about are people that went worldwide. Worldwide. And and, 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 and then and, fell and off. Lil Will. Let's talk about it. He went worldwide and fell off. Lil Will had number one song in the world. 
and you go add, let's go add, let's 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 call anybody from from New York and say who who had the song my Dougie? I don't know. They'll say what's his name did. Uh 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 uh. Mm-hmm. Just uh yeah them the Cali's Cali yeah Cali, the Cali. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They don't say it. So Dallas got a Dallas got a tendency to making it, but then forget which put you there to continue to do it to get you farther, and they'll lose the roots and then have to come back. So okay, you are talking about Dallas? Mm-hmm. So but is there other cities that experience the same thing? Not like us. Not like us. They so you tell me yeah, they take yeah. advantage yeah, of yeah. It. My, my, come out of fact, look. The Motri era with yellow bees and this and that, that was the biggest era in Dallas history. I'd be lying on my on my interview saying it wasn't. This era can't fuck with the era. That era had ten people signed. Well, I'm to the boogie era. They was their songs was bigger than them. But how many people got signed through the boogie era? No, it's a lot. More than But you can't name none of their names. <laughs> but but it's more people got signed than in your era. Stop. Trigger case. Trigger. Uh, nah, cause I was in the era too. I was the front line there. I was in both of the eras. I, I'm three generations in. I know. I'm on my fourth way. Listen. Trivia. Who sung Ricky Bobby? You, I'm the worst person to ask that stuff. Ask him. Who sung Ricky Bobby? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, was that? Was that? Uh, <laughs> I know my help. Be him. He, yeah. he was. I, I just he was so over here. I was thinking. I was nah, thinking about him. Ricky Bobby is not bros with a friend. Yeah. yeah. Who song? He got a big dick and know how you. She tell her own girl. So you got. That's my boy Bone. A bone. Okay. 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 You know, I know yeah. Bone. Okay. 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 Cool. okay. But I would have got be him because he yeah, been yeah. over here. Yeah. I yeah. 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 That's what I, that's uh-huh. I thought uh-huh. it was him though. Okay. One more. But this was called errors. This was a cold. I understand that. One more. Who song? Rack Daddy. You know, that's Fat Pimp. Okay, man. okay, okay, okay. Okay. Who song Flex? Hit him with the Flex. Hit, hit him with, with the Flex. flex. What's, What's the name? What's the name? Hit him with the, and then we begging for some more. What's the name? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> who, who's like that? You know, because do you. Who song Frank Oh, you know, that's. that's I, I, I'm going to tell you. What's the name, though? Say what's the name. His girl used to work here. Yeah, what's the name? <laughs> Unique, Unique's baby daddy. What's his name? What's his name? Is his name Frank? <laughs> no. <laughs> Baby, dad, I know. Yeah. Who song walk around the club? Fuck everybody. Walk around the world. Fuck uh, everybody can't. But that whole jam and no But yeah, yeah, yeah. See, the problem is they songs were bigger than them. <laughs> you see what I think? You still can't think. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That that dancing era, they they songs was bigger than them. But a lot of people blame you, right? So you wasn't you were promoting stuff, doing all kind of shit and stuff. Man. Took them boys all the way out. A lot of people man, blame was, you for I was, that. I was helping them get money. A bro, lot of people say you, you were janking, no, 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 you were no, bull no, calling no, no. them out of their money, bro. No, I, no, listen. How can I been janking the niggas they signed to then give them a dollar? Them niggas didn't have no watches or no chains. They ain't have nothing. They, 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 the people they signed to then give them a dollar. To this day, none of them dance niggas gets paid for the anything they made. That's why. That's why. That's why. That's why the stanky leg dudes say he trying to. They trying to get the, the publicity after twenty years. They don't get. They didn't get nothing. That they nothing. The people they signed to. Y'all call me janky now. It was some sharks over there. Go listen to Superstar. Then he ain't get nothing for Halle Berry. They're straight up. Go ask the row. Mike Moose Swain. George Lopez. Go listen. Y'all gonna call me janky? I ain't. I ain't even signing any people. I was the manager. I got signed for the people that signed the people. So you only got the twenty percent. Yeah, I only got twenty percent. Them people that, that the people back to that, but man, these niggas. That's why I don't like these niggas. These niggas don't never mention. They they, they want to make act, act rich. They don't never mention the people that they signed to. They don't get a dollar from. Nothing. But look, me and Sean kind of go do fuck with our artists though. So listen, uh, 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 let me ask you this before you go. Oh, and shout I out to Big Dumb, Big Dumb right now, Big Dumb. Hold up, Big Dumb right now, the hottest nigga. And uh, and Dallas coming up right now, so I need everybody, I need everybody. While you be sitting here talking, y'all gonna go follow Big Dunn, go follow Big Dunn, go follow Big Dunn. Uh, nigga, he got a good story. Was over there with Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders bundled him out of jail to help his life, and 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 took him to prom and and helped him get in college and everything. Big Dunn is uh, a bad motherfucker. 
What What do you think? And then you, I'm gonna let you get out of car. I know you gotta go. But what do you think you would? What, what's the name would be, a uh, Roy Lee if he was still here? Man, he'd be like a Mike Epps. He'd have made it through. Yeah, both if if, I, if both my boys were still alive right now, uh, yeah, they'd have made it through. Yeah. Well, I know, of course, Mo three was headed that way. It was not no, but but I was talking about like Roy Lee. He kind of got took a little bit early. It was around the same, but a little bit early. You know that, cause, you know, and, and I just feel like he would have, when you were country Wayne and all them boys, I think he would have figured it out just like Bubba Dub and all the rest of them. You know what I mean? People behave In this land of community, uh, comedians, yeah, it's Roy Lee land. I don't think, like I said, but, but it definitely was a, a lane. That internet phase went quick, bro. Like, like it grew fast. It grew legs. Mm -hmm. he, was he with four country Wayne, too? Who? Really? Really? By the same time, three. Three was a person finding out a comedian. He would tell me about a comedian. He was telling you? Like uh, the little nigga from Mississippi. Uh, uh, I forgot his name. But yeah, three, three, watch, three two put me on country wine. Bro, I'm from Texas, right? And I'm going to let you go. This is the last mm -hmm. damn thing I'm going to say to you. Mm -hmm. I'm from Texas. And I'm a real te You see, I wear the medallion. It's, mm -hmm. here. it's here small. It ain't like you're a big. Mm -hmm. I don't need no big stuff. But yeah, I'm I got to get some bitches. But let, let, me, let now, me ask you this, man. Then I start losing weight. Cut me out, now, man. Now, this like last time, listen, then I start losing weight because you, you young niggas get out of my bitches' them boxes. You young niggas, listen, listen. I learned it don't matter how much money you got. A, a, a woman will always. They love young young broke dick. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter how much money you got. You got to watch out. <laughs> you know, you can treat a girl good, but she love her some young uh, young broke dick. So you and, losing weight not going to help you, Yes, man. it is. Like, I get back. I can't. Because, listen, I just realized when I woke up this morning, I said, oh. oh. I said, oh. And I realized. I looked down. I see my belly. I said, damn. And I really I got one hip, so I got a lot of shit that I got to cook. cook uh, right, yeah. so you working out, you gonna still feel them aches and pains. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but I got to get back to to. to and a, you can't I'm do doing. every, you can't move like I, you I used to. I understand that. So listen, me fucking, I'm only thinking I'm fucking and pleasing because because I'm fucking and pleasing because I, I'm thinking I'm young again. I got and I got some good motion. My motion ain't turning no more. No, uh, especially with the one hip. Yeah, yeah. So. So I, I'm thinking about some money. Them girls don't give a damn about no money. They just moaning for the, the, the thought of the nigga got some money behind them. Exactly. So at the end of the day, I got to get back in shape. So, but yeah. I hear some girls talk about it saying that that don't matter to them as long as you can eat. That's the only thing that matters. I can't. I can't. I ain't never. Because us growing up. You ain't and, never done it? And, yeah, I have. Listen, I, and I try to. I ain't asking and everything. Listen. And, uh, uh, uh. Us young, uh, us in our generation. Oh boy. Hey, our generation, I was born in the 80s, right? Our generations. We we thought it wasn't cool to, to eat. Mm -hmm. Growing up, like man, we ain't nobody eating. We, we used to laugh at the nigga that eating ass, eating pussy. But now these generation, uh, them niggas are bracing it. You know what I'm saying? They got they on OnlyFans eating 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 two or three girls at one time. I I, I was just scrolling. I seen a rapper from Texas uh, on a porn site the other day, and they were going crazy. You hear me? Right, because you believe in me. Crazy. And he's a young Hello. kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's young nigga. Oh, you yeah. in trouble, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Young nigga, you in his tongue and his heel. Yeah, yeah. So, 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 I, I, I just gotta get back. I, you know, I involved in every situation. So I'm finna evolve in this situation. <laughs> I gotta ask you this before you get off. I ain't gonna do a podcast. Have all my bitches come back and say, "Why y'all don't call me no more?" <laughs> right, I gotta ask you this, man. Like, when, when it, I seen hit that say, you know, like. You're not from uh, Dallas, like, uh, shout out to Terry Blue. Mm. Shout out to Say Cheese. There's a lot of people that's here. Shout out to me. I'm from Texas, though. Don't yeah. get it twisted. Yeah. Yeah. But still, a lot of bloggers, a lot of interviewers that are in Dallas that are not from because Dallas. Because they seen the bigger picture. See, Dallas niggas sit back and sit there and say, we ain't finna do no internet shit. They call the internet shit. Now the street niggas need trying to get a vibe, I mean, trying to get a part of the internet shit. Yeah, I just seen a rapper sit there and say, you know, I don't fuck with nobody. I don't do none of the internet shit. But now you have to come back and do the internet shit. So you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, shout out to uh, Say Cheese, shout out to uh, uh, Spade TV. He over there in Forest Lane from Arkansas. You, uh, uh, Terry no. Blue. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, <laughs> them people seen the bigger picture in life, and these Dallas niggas so dumb. Just like, just like them kids. I gotta go. Just like, just like, just like Sexy Red right now took an old Dallas dancing song as number one in the world because them dancing niggas couldn't. That them the Dallas niggas thought it was too goofy and it was too street to make a dance. A song just like nigga, 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 Glorilla, Glorilla, and Megan Thee Stallion just redid my Dougie, and they gonna be the number one song because people like that sound. So you Dallas niggas too street for y'all being you broke ass niggas. You just you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, y'all think it's too street to do this and too hood to do that. But people coming to the city and seeing the opportunity of eating. That's why it's Blog City, and half the bloggers that's from here, and the, the, half the bloggers and the media that's from here. 
I mean that that's her or not from her. The top five bloggers is not even from Dallas, except for real life. Check it, man. Hey, man. I'm from Texas, nigga. Stop playing, nigga. It's a Texas thing, man. Shout man. out to Nico. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Nico. Uh, 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 what's the other nigga name? Uh, Marshall, Texas, the club. Rory. Nah, what's the Rory Book? You uh, say. What's the name of the Yeah, yeah, you say. I'm 43. I'm 40. You say. It's really yeah, Rory. No, no, what's the name of his club? It used to be Bawana, then they turned it to 43, then they changed it to, uh, it's it been I like three, four. I name, but yeah, yeah. Mo3 wasn't there. Yeah, yeah, the, long, and, the uh, Longview Club, TB, the DJ, uh, 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 one thing they do, they have embraced Dallas music, so the first, if you if your music is taken off, the first place you're going to stop is Tyler. Wow, man, that's big. Shout out to Trill Talk, no pill talk. You got to shout him out. Check it, man. Trill Talk be acting goofy. <laughs> My boy, nigga, don't get into it. Be over trail talk, he, no field talk. He, he be trying to do something. He be trying. He be trying to post shit. Sometimes tear me down. I need. You get, think so? I need him in the same room. Me at the same time. We go. I'm putting you on the panel you with it. You see how y'all was here together? Yeah, but but I really didn't know what you see. How I did pop Austin? Yeah. What? What? <laughs> Those people talked all this shit about me talking out in their face, man. We outside, I'm gone. Check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What the boss is talking, man. Make sure you look at this next clip. Rainwater went crazy.